a huge thanks to this person lazlo daniel you have done a great job here without the smart battery hack program i will not able to reset this battery so let's get to the code the smart battery hack you can download it from the description box and you can see all other details are shown here i am using a pull up resistors here the 4.7 kilo ohm resistors in the previous videos uh, these are not present but this battery is hacked with this setup so please follow connected to the 5 volt and the fi is the clock a4 is the data common ground is connected and the from the, from the 5 volt a pull up resistors connected to the ground and sorry the to the clock anode cl data pin and you can find a wiki here the tutorial so uh, there is also another program or code is available to get the keys from the ic uh, the smart battery hack is not showing these values accurately uh, maybe for me the program is not working good but uh, it is unfortunately to pull up the data from these batteries uh, not accurately so this one uses the 51 f51 chipset the gas gauge ic here the fuel gauge ic here and uh, you can see the default values you can check the code uh, the link in the description box all the links in the description box you can check so, co copy the code from this website and create a new sketch paste the values and click on upload wait completed click on the serial button you can see the values here 9310 4b122156 so these are the pf key access key and the full access key unseal key of this battery pf key unseal key full access key you can just copy to anywhere and now another program the smart battery hack don't say click on upload done uploading okay now get back to our software smart battery hack so connect to the com port connect scan assembly yes we got our device now dump the registry up to 65 okay the values showing here you can see the cycle count is for 112 and all the other values are showing the authenticate or the the status 310b the 54 register is 00 which is good and the 61 uh, the 60 62 and the 62 read the are coming to the straightly to the 60th register showing 1 2 3 4 I am going to write the 16th register to some other values also I will show the 17th register so you can see how I changed the values and there is no sense because somehow the 62 register is connected with the cycle count you see I am going to write 000, zero, zero. click on word read now dump not changed now read 61 again 61 word word it is changed dump register not changed but the 62 the 62 what is 62 62 is the pf key see see the magic here i am going to first read the 62 1010 so you can see the 10 10 here the 1010 read 62 see the magic cycle count is zero yes yes guys so i'm going to put 010 click on where read 62 time register it is 16 
so you can see this is how I changed the uh, cycle count of this battery and I am able to uh, made this battery to alive again with this simple tool and I have another Lenovo V3 battery here this is uh, the BQ9000 IC it is very advanced IC we cannot just simply crack the IC with this little board this only capable of these kind of batteries so if you if you need any assistance or if you need more help you can comment below all the links are available in the description box so once again I will just show I am adding a zero one double zero right read the 62 dump the register you can see it is 256 I, I forget one thing I created some graphs here you can see this is from the Texas instruments the BQ studio software you can see the green values red values all the bits here you can see the status so I created as a, a, a word or Excel like this yes I created an Excel like this Excel file and another word file so if you don't want to watch this you can stop the video right now uh, so let's dump the register up to 54 that's only we need dump register so now read the battery mode triple one zero so I'm go uh, I put these values here so one 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 so so the red means high bit and the green means low bit so one 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 we can see the capacity mode is enabled charger mode is enabled the RAM mode is enabled now going to the battery status the battery status you can see only one bit is enabled here only one bit is enabled so the one that bit is the remaining time alarm which is enabled here uh, now the specification info the specification info last bit and the I think it's the fourth and the fifth bit so the specification info is related to the voltage and current which is uh, not um, we want to change the values I'm not going to look into it now again the PF status which is not readable in this software 51 52 is not available and the 54 is available the 54 is showing as 00, zero. so I put all the values as 0 so we can see the values here the PF PF means the permanent failure mode which is not in a inactive here sealed mode safety mode sorry safety mode is inactive here and our SEZ1 and SEZ0 SEC1 and SEC0 where is it SEC1 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 yes SEC1 the security mode so if both the uh, bits are 1 it is in the sealed state if SEC1 is 1 it is an unsealed state if SEC0 is in the full access it state and if it is both the 0 it is in the unsealed state and the 2F operation status these are actually same here you can see these values are same so I got this value by converting the 2F register hex the 2F hex to binary so you will get a binary like this okay so I put all the values here the sleep is enabled it is enabled, STV is enabled, PRES, DSG, PSG is enabled, all these values are enabled and you can check the reference here sleep, 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 where is sleep? Oh, sleep bit is the 15th bit so the sleep, the sleep commode conditions is active, charging is enabled and SDV, 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 SDV TV is the tenth bit. Yes, STV shutdown triggered by a low pack. Yes, it is also enabled. And PCHG, PCHG, third bit. PCHG, PCHG.
yes the pre-charge FET status is also enabled PRE system present is enabled DSG, DSG FET status is also enabled I don't know more values I don't know more details about this uh, this status here L the link for this word file and the excel file will be available in the description box you can check and all other links will be up in the description box you can check I don't have the BQ studio it is very expensive so without the expensive software we only using the Arduino board which is very cheap so we are able to crack this battery and we will try with some other batteries also you can wait for other videos so this is the end of the video thank you